My name is. My name is. <laughs> Are you here to help me? Thank you. Wow, thank you. What a talented audience member. Hi everybody, welcome back to Bear Food Kitchen. My name is Tina Bear. If you are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment, hit the bell for some notifications every week. Today we are going to be making stuffed acorn squash. This is what an acorn squash looks like. It's hard, heavy, and you find them a lot um, during the holidays, but you can find them throughout the year. We went ahead and just cut them in half, seeded them. If you find them too hard to cut, you could put them in the microwave for a minute or two softens it up a little bit, makes it easier to cut. So first we're gonna start by making the acorn squash and cooking it. We're gonna use the Instapot for that. And the stuffing, it's like a holiday stuffing mixture that we're gonna put in the middle. And it's all the Thanksgiving flavors in a little bowl. It's so good. So the first thing we're gonna do is put a cup of vegetable broth. Now, the reason I'm using vegetable broth and not water is because whatever you use in to cook your meal, it's going to absorb the flavor. So I thought I'm gonna add a little flavor to the squash by using some veggie broth. Now you don't need to stack these either or way, just fit them in the Instapot, just like that gonna close it make sure your vents on to seal we're gonna cook it for five minutes and while that's cooking I have a hot plate now you'll be doing it on the stove or you could do it in the instapot and I have a hot plate going just because it's more convenient for everyone to see here and we're gonna put some oil in my yummy olive oil, which you all know I love. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some onion. This is one red onion. I like a lot of onion. More than this normally, but this is good for company. This is a great meal for after the holidays when you have leftover turkey meat. You can make this. You could also substitute the um, turkey meat, which is what we're using today, ground turkey. You could substitute it with ground beef. You could substitute it with pork. We are just using a little bit healthier meat right now, less fatty. So what we're gonna do is brown this together, add a little salt and pepper, throw the rest of the ingredients in, and then we're gonna stuff it. Stuff the acorn squash. Let that get cooking. It smells delicious. A little bit of salt and pepper. My daughter says she's a little salty. I think she's a lot of salty. The pioneer woman, she would love, she would love this episode. Because it reminds me of her, how she cooks around her, her counter in her kitchen. I love that. Look at that, how delicious. 
All right, so let's add some more spices. Let's put a ton of garlic, a ton, a ton of garlic. That's a ton of garlic. That's a ton of garlic. I'm funny. <laughs> okay. So we are going to be adding sage. Yum. Tarragon. Fresh tarragon. But you could use um, dry tarragon. I love it. It reminds me of the holidays. And we have fennel seed. Ugh. I love fennel. I made um, a minestrone soup and I used a whole bulb of fennel seed. It was so good. That is another meal prep. So delicious. All right, this is looking pretty good. I am adding ginger, ground ginger. Some onion. And then when this gets to cooking, we are going to add, I think that's about two big handfuls of kale. That size. <laughs> that size. So good. So we're gonna add the kale, let it cook down. It'll wilt down like spinach, so if it looks like a lot, you can never have enough. You could always add more. Just like that. And then I might just put a lid on it so it wilts down. A nice big lid. I think I just need a lid. Just a lid. Oh, oh I, I think I need a bigger lid. <laughs> on there let that get wilted down and then how much more time do I have so we're gonna wait for that to go up wait for the kale to um, break down get soft and then I will stuff it all right let's take a peek at this mixture oh. You know, I could bottle this aroma up and I'll send it to you guys. This is going to be my Christmas presents, birthday presents. Oh, it's so good. The kale broke down. The meat is brown. The garlic is tender. Go ahead and leave that right there. And then we have our acorn squash has a little bit of pressure left in there we're gonna knock that out Whoa! look how amazing those look those are tender cooked perfectly ah you're gonna love it All right, take one out. Woo, it's hot. I'm gonna have to take a bite of this later. There's one, there's one. That's me trying to be uh, skilled. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do another one. That one worked out so well. Look at, see how easy, so easy. 
so easy. Okay, and then we're just going to stuff it with the mixture. Oh, you know what's really good on top of this is a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So good. And you could fill it as full as you like. I'm going to pack it in. Make sure I get all the flavors. There's one. Can you see that? How's that look? I'll turn that off. Now this stuffing isn't like um, your bell pepper stuffing where it kind of holds together like a meatloaf. This one is loose and delicious. So, oh my gosh, can you see that? Now for presentation and flavor, you could sprinkle a little bit of parsley on there but I'm at home cooking, so I am just gonna gobble this up. Not both of them, because that's a lot of food, but maybe one whole one. Let me take a bite. It's gonna be hot, I know it's gonna be hot. Oh, can you see how tender that is? Let me see. Look how tender. Put some meat, onion, kale, I'm going to blow on it because it's going to be really hot. So good and amazing. The squash has the perfect, the perfect flavor to go with the turkey, the sage, the ginger, the kale. They all meld together. It's so delicious. I'm going to eat the whole one all by myself because I'm starving and it's delicious. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know um, if you try it out and if you could leave us a comment and subscribe.